Okay, hi everybody. My name is Anna Furu, and you are today on the online uh, prosperity show with Prosper. And today we're going to be talking about mindfulness and how you can use mindfulness as a tool in your life and in your business life and why it's beneficial for you. Welcome. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, all the way from Sweden. How are you today, Anna? I'm great. Hi, how are you? Fantastic. Thank you so much for making time. I know you're coming from way, way far away, but I know you're coming in with a lot of value and a lot of content for our audience here. Now, viewers, if you're watching this um, episode right now, we're going to be talking about mindfulness and how mindfulness and self-compassion are actually central concepts that people that are you know, in a business environment should actually practice. When you practice mindfulness, you are at ease, you create more and you relate more to your customers and you actually focus in your work. So that's the reason why we've dragged Anna Furu. Um, who is also a language teacher, so she might teach us a little bit about the culture in Sweden and exactly how she is helping other people, um, you know, live a happier existence through mindfulness. Now, did I say that right, uh, Anna? You said it very well. Thank Great. you. <laughs> Great stuff. Now, you know something? Tell us a little bit about what mindfulness actually is. So mindfulness is basically about uh, learning how to be present in the here, in the now. And it sounds very simple, but uh, it's a lot of work for the modern uh, average human being. <laughs> um, it's, it's about, you know, uh, getting to connect with your body. That's the number one thing, uh, because we live all our lives today up here. We, um, you know, we're online, we're on the phone, we're on the computer, we're constantly thinking either future or history. And we never really uh, learn how to just stay present in this moment right here and right now. Great stuff. So what, why is it very important for somebody to stay in the present? Because, you know, maybe in our daily lives, you need to be worried about what your kids are doing. You need to concentrate on what's happening on the news because you never know if something is happening in your city. So you need to stay informed and you need to check what everyone is doing on Facebook just in case you meet them at the shops and they ask you, did you like my status? You know, so how... Why is it very important for people to actually disconnect and check in within themselves, um, you know, so that they can function uh, properly? That's a very important question. Uh, so the value about uh, checking into our body and ourselves, basically, uh, every day and uh, as often as we can, um, is that it's it's life you know i know this sounds very uh simplistic but it's it's life and that's what we are reading all the time you know on the uh mindfulness media and stuff is uh feeding us with this like ah oh, live in the present and you know every good thing comes in the present and so on and it's true uh and uh, you know we talk about intuition right you've talked some about intuition in business as well and yes. in everyday life right and uh, intuition is a bodily uh, experience and wisdom that you have in the present moment and it speaks to you through your uh, body and sort of in the here and and now uh, and to be able to listen and really hear uh, your intuition you just got to be in the present moment Right, because otherwise it's just gonna fly past you, and you you're not gonna notice it. And uh, the next question is why is intuition then important, and especially for business uh, people? Well, 
uh, we have a brain and an intellect that is, of course, very important and very uh, helpful for us to function in this world. But um, you, at times, uh, we need to see the bigger picture. And often uh, business people today, especially like you yourself, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, from what I've heard and seen of you, I think you're a part of this movement of modern business owners who are online and, you know, and they talk a lot about uh, business, leading their business with heart, right? Right. It's not just about earning money or uh, becoming fa famous, sorry, <clears throat> and so on. It's about doing something that you are passionate about and that you want to help other people in some way and make their lives better in some way, whatever product you're offering. And to be able to do that, you basically need to be in touch with your uh your inside right because that's where your heart is and you really feel like what okay what am i what am i passionate about what do i want to do with my life so that's the basic answer you know you gotta have connection with who you are and the easiest way to do that is through uh connecting with your body in a mindful way listening to your body Understandable. Thank you so much for that input. And um, I read somewhere that, um, you know, mindfulness is actually a practice that supports, you know, your capacity to stay focused on whatever it is that you're actually doing. And as you keep saying, it's in the now, because the nature of our jobs online, there's so many distractions, you know, there's so much information that is being passed around and so much information overload in this whole digital space. And when you practice uh, mindfulness daily, it can actually bring you an inner peace, an inner calm, and that is quite effective for you to actually soldier on through, cut through the noise, um, of um, the whole social media and it actually enhances your mental capacity right now sometimes when people then dig deep um, you know dig deep inside of them it and it opens up a whole uh, wad of past experiences um, you know and maybe you know like how our brains dwell on negative um, you know thought loops how does mindfulness now help you go around um, all that negativity? Um, yeah. Well, like the first step, there are different steps to mindfulness. Right. Uh, and the first step is always awareness. Uh, it's the same with learning. You first got to, you first got to be, become aware. What do you want to achieve or learn? And with mindfulness, you, it's like a tool that helps you to become uh, aware of stuff whatever you put your attention to basically so let's say that you have a lot of negative uh, uh, feedback loops from yourself and maybe you're very critical of yourself and you're want to achieve you're an achiever or so which many people in the business industry are so you're gonna have a lot of negative feedback to yourself all the time and you're going to judge yourself. I think that's what you're talking about. Right. And uh, mindfulness helps us, number one, to become aware of this. And because uh, most people, they are completely unaware of what's going on, how they are talking to themselves, basically. Uh, and when we become aware that, hmm, I'm not a really, uh, supportive person towards myself you know i'm i'm not uh giving myself the energy and confidence uh that i need to run my business or to uh be a good uh friend or parent or just a uh, human being then uh, you're gonna just it's gonna drain you so when you are aware of this you can change it right right Great. Right. That's, that's, that's a very uh, profound answer there. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry. The question was a little bit long, but you, you really got, got it. You, you brought it home there. Now, 
one other thing about being or running a business or just being a human in general is being connected to other human beings. Does mindfulness help with any of that, um, you know, connection? Because us as humans, we're social animals. We have to evolve in a way that relationships with those that we love and relationships with those that we're going to be serving uh, should be prompted all the time. So should I spend time just sitting down and thinking to myself or should I actually go and connect with other people out there? Does it help with relationship building? Definitely. I'm glad you asked that because uh, most people are, you know, the, the, the picture they have of mindfulness or meditation and these things is like you're a lonely monk or nun sitting in a faraway cave somewhere in Nepal or, <laughs> or so, you know, and just not interacting with people and not partying or not, uh, you know, having a fun life, w social f life. And that's really important that you take mindfulness out into your uh, life and into the real world, because that's where the real training in mindfulness comes about. The most powerful way to use mindfulness is with other people, actually, because um, we all have, our, you know, carry our backpacks with our history, right? Uh, what we've gone through and experiences and they continually continuously shape us and so when I meet you for example though I've never met you before I'm still gonna uh, some things that uh, you say or do might activate stuff from past experiences and make me act in certain ways and vice versa and uh, I mean these things can either be very helpful if there are good patterns and experiences that we have, but all of us have also experiences that didn't really uh, make us stronger, but rather um, made us insecure or so. Uh, and if we use mindfulness, uh, we can become aware again of, okay, wait, I'm acting in a way that I don't really want to act. Why am I doing this? you know patterns that just keep repeating themselves without us understanding why and then we can use mindfulness also to reflect and see sort of like a, a um, scientific experiment actually in your own life you know so you you get to know yourself and that's what everything is about and when you know yourself you can also start to uh, choose new ways to interact with people or to act in the world Understandable. Thank you so much for that. Now, you see, you can't do well in business or in life if you actually don't feel well yourself. So if your inner peace is, you know, out of whack and you can't serve the clients that you want to serve, you can't, you know, communicate with your spouse, you're just in constant inner um, sort of turmoil. I remember I read once what Lao, Lao Tzu would have mentioned. Lao Tzu mentioned that, you know, for you to be content with what you have, rejoice in the way things are. And when you actually realize that there's nothing lacking, the whole world actually belongs to you. Now, does mindfulness give you any um, of that sense of inner contentment? Absolutely. I love Lao Tzu. So cool that you mentioned him. Yeah, um, definitely. You know, we, I think that we, the most common disease in our uh, modern Western society is the uh, discontentment. You know, we constantly feel like we don't have enough and we never really stop to cherish what we do have, what we've just attained. We're like, okay, I reached my goal. Um, and then you, you don't stop and, wow, thank you, this is great. You just, directly, you just want to, okay, what's the next thing that I want to do? And then you, you're in the, 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 the uh, carousel again, right? Right. Um, but if we use mindfulness, we train our brain, literally, to pause. You know, to just stop now and then and just look around and look and feel inside like okay what's going on and 
uh, that's when we can, you know, get the opportunity to actually see what we have instead of just running and just having the focus forward or, or so like, okay, I want to have this or that and do this and that. So when we use mindfulness, what we really are learning is to pause and Tara Brock, uh, fantastic meditation teacher and psychotherapist, she, she called it the sacred art of pausing. And this is what Buddhism and meditation and all these spiritual traditions are talking about, you know, the importance of learning to stop and just be in the present moment. And then you get to see what you actually have around you, what you already have. And this gives tremendous satisfaction and peace of mind to some extent. It doesn't work for a long time if you don't do it uh, with a uh, mindfulness strategy, but you definitely will increase your uh, life quality immensely just by stopping now and then and being grateful. Understandable. So <clears throat> obviously you just looked into something that's very important there, um, you know, the attitude of gratitude and what you just mentioned there, you know, when you consistently practice mindfulness, it actually helps you to actually slow down. All right. And, um, you know, even if it's just for a few moments of your day and you can actually reconnect with what's actually happening moment by moment. Now, how important is it to actually just be grateful um, you know, about your life and what's happening uh, in it. And um, that also reminds me of what Eckhart Tolle would have said, you know, when you acknowledge the good that you actually have in your life, it is the foundation of all abundance. Why is gratitude important? Because um, you are grateful for what you have. You know, we live in this illusion that we should be thinking about what we can have or should have. But to be honest, we don't have that, right? What The only thing we have right now is this here and now. And it might not be what we think is perfect. For example, I might have a bit of a cold or, um, you know, I might have injured my arm or knee or whatever. And we might think that, oh, that's not perfect. It's not good enough. I want to aim forward to where I have perfect health or where my company has uh, this much uh, profit instead of where I am right now. But we never know if that goal is going to be attained. We, we work towards it, of course, of course, and we dream about it. But what we, the only thing we have is uh, the here and now. For example, the people you have in your life at the moment, uh, the health you have right now, your work, however profitable it is, what you have right now is the only thing that you have. And so gratefulness deals with trying to shift our mindset from, you know, this focus to this focus, you know, hey, I actually have a lot. And usually we have much more than we uh, think because we don't really see what is here what we have oh hey I have a awesome neighbor that always greets me with a smile or wow my my co-worker is so nice and she or he gave me coffee and you know whatever we just um, constantly focus ahead but gratefulness uh, makes your life worth living I would say Great stuff. Anna, you've been fantastic. Now, obviously, somebody who's probably watching this show and has really been glued to the TV because you've been dropping a lot of valuable information that a lot of people really would appreciate, um, you know, to maybe study a little bit more or find out a little bit more. And you did mention um, a little bit earlier on that what you have now in the now is what is important. So somebody who's watching this video right now, all they have is you. And, you know, this video on their phone or maybe they're watching on a big screen. How can they actually get a hold of you then so that they can have you in the now? <laughs> um, I'm starting with the uh, Instagram. So you can follow me on Instagram 
uh, I'm called the meditation E Lulia. <laughs> uh, I might change it later, but it's meditation and the uh, I like like myself and then Lulea, uh, which is the name of the city Lulio where I'm living. That's great. So, I, I will put all the information in the, in the show notes so that people get a, an opportunity to see this. Now, obviously, Anna, you might have a few hacks and I know things like meditation and, um, you know, mindfulness, you need to do them consistently, just like a shower, you know, it's not like you just do it once, you just sit down and, you know, think of nothing and be in the now and then, you know, you've done it for the rest of your life. What sort of quick little hacks um, can you throw out for people to just be mindful, even if they're out in the shops or maybe they're driving? Um, I don't encourage you to meditate when you're driving, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, when, <laughs> faster, faster than anyone else. Yeah, so yeah, maybe, no. when they're, yeah, maybe during their shopping so that they can actually just be grateful for actually going into a shop and getting food and nobody hustling them and, you know, going back to their car and their car is still there and nothing has been done. But what sort of, you know, little tricks can you just throw us that are actionable right now um, that people can um, use? Mm -hmm. uh, focus on your breathing. That's the number one uh, thing that helps you. Just uh, try to feel your breath. Where is my breath right now? Either you can feel it in your nose or try to feel if, is it high up here in your chest? Usually when we're stressed, we're breathing up here. Uh, or can you direct it down to your abdomen? And when you go and shop, you can be aware of this, like let your breathing uh, be the engine. And because uh, this will help you to, to sort of, relax your mind because when we go shopping or do something we're, we're usually very you know like out here and we take we can be impulsive and so on but if we focus on our breath uh, especially in the abdomen then we uh, instantly relax a little bit and we get more perspective understandable well thank you so much i when you started talking about breathing i actually started <laughs> trying to notice where my breathing was but you know <laughs> it's one of those things. where is it <laughs> <laughs> now no, it's good for you <laughs> yeah. great stuff well thank you so much i mean obviously if you've been watching this show um and um you've enjoyed what anna is saying i'm gonna put in all her uh, details of how you can get a hold of her in the show notes um, below. And obviously you are out here trying to create a business that's profitable and enjoyable and actually have a happier existence. Just do yourself a favor and be mindful of your own existence and be grateful for what you actually do have. Not a lot of people have an opportunity to watch um, you know, experts like me and Anna discussing things that can actually help you be, do and have a life that's profitable and enjoyable. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thank you so much, Anna, for having, uh, for coming on to our show today. Thank you. Thank you. Great stuff. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> cool. Are you ready now? Yes. Okay, that was the show. We've just finished the interview. <laughs> Great, efficient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we yeah, we don't we don't waste time here. Cool. <clears throat> <laughs>